Welcome to uh, day eight of our 21 days of walking through the book of Mark. And today we're going to be reading from Mark um, chapter 6, verse 1 to 29. Jesus left there and went to his hometown, accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were amazed. Where did this man get these things, they asked? What's the wisdom that, he has been, that has been given him? What are these remarkable miracles he's performing? Isn't this the carpenter? Isn't this Mary's son and the brother of James, jo uh, Joseph, Judas, and Simon? Aren't these sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Jesus said to them, A prophet is not known without honor except in his hometown, among his relatives, and in his own home. He could not do any miracles there except lay his hands on a few who were ill and heal them. And he was amazed at their lack of faith. Then Jesus went around teaching from village to village. Calling the twelve to him, he began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over impure spirits. These were his instructions. Take nothing for the journey except a staff, no bread, no bag, no money in your belts. Wear sandals, but not an extra shirt. Whenever you enter a house, stay there until you leave that town. And if any place will not welcome you or listen to you, leave that place and shake the dust off your feet as a testimony against them. They went out and preached um, that people should repent. They drove out many demons and anointed with oil many people who were ill and healed them. Now King Herod heard about this, for Jesus' name had become well known. Some were saying, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead, and this is why miraculous powers are at work in him. Others said, he's Elijah, and still others claimed, he's a prophet, like one of the prophets of long ago. But when Herod heard this, he said, John, whom I beheaded, has been raised from the dead. For Herod himself had given orders to have John arrested, and he had him bound and put in prison. He did this because of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, um, whom he had married. For John had been saying to Herod, it's not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. So Herodias Nursed, and gr nursed a grudge against John and wanted to kill him. But she was not able to because Herod feared John and protected him. Knowing, to be a righteous, uh, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, when Herod heard John, he was greatly puzzled, yet he liked listening to him. Finally, the opportune time came. On his birthday, Herod gave a banquet for his high officials and military commanders and the leading men of Galilee. When the daughter of Herodias came in and danced, she pleased Herod and his dinner guests. The king said to the girl, Ask me for anything you want, and I'll give it to you. And he promised her with an oath, Whatever you ask, I will give it to you, up to half my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? The head of John the Baptist, she answered. At once the girl hurried into the king um, with a request. I want you to give me right now the head of John the Baptist on a dish. The king was greatly dis distressed, but because of his oaths and his dinner guests, he did not want to refuse her. So he immediately sent an executioner with orders to bring John's head. The man went, beheaded um, John in the prison and brought back his head on a dish. He presented it to the girl, and she gave it to her mother. On hearing this, John's disciples came, took his body, and laid it in the tomb. As we read through um, Mark 6, verse 1 to 29, um, what stood out for me, that's almost like a strand in those verses, is Jesus' authority. First of all, in the, in the beginning of the chapter, we see where people are amazed at Jesus' authority. And then it goes on to say, Jesus did not only keep that authority for himself, he, he called 12 disciples, gave them authority to preach the gospel, heal the sick, 
cast out demons, and then send them out. And we see that same authority in the story and the life of John. Here's the thought for today. If Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever, it means that as his disciples, as his followers, he calls us, he gives us authority. He calls us to walk in that authority. And the encouragement, the charge to go out and preach the gospel in the authority of God is for us. It's available for us today. And that's what we see in this passage. So may that be your portion as you reflect on the scripture that we've got before us today.